let's not mention this again, shall we? Because um, that didn't work. So I've got um, I've got little nicks all over my hands, and I'm not feeling them because the chisels are so sharp that I'm just getting cut and then I'm finding little spots of blood later. But that I felt. And the reason I felt it is not because it's a deeper cut. No, I felt it because I cut myself with not the end of the chisel, but the side of the chisel. And it hurts. <laughs> and, oh God, this is a crazy idea. Oh, it sounds bright. Um, okay, so I've um, I've hatched this crazy because I couldn't get to the men's shed to throw um, all the wood that I was going to use for the um, pressing boards through the thicknesser. I started this crazy idea to do them by hand, um, and that's evolved into this crazy idea to actually do them joined rather than just you know laid or nailed or whatever. Ah, uh, so craziness, I know, um, but suddenly I've got a need for a tool that I don't have, and this, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera here, but I've got a whole stack of little rebates along this length of wood, and they've all got to be the same depth. Now, do with a, doing that with a chisel or with a rebate plane, you know, could do it with a lot of skill, or I could use a router plane. The problem is I don't have a router plane, and I looked on YouTube to see you know, about homemade ones, ones you could make up yourself, and there was a bunch of designs on there, a bunch of techniques, methods, some really good stuff, but I need something that will just get me through right right now, and this video is going to be the making of that, and towards the end we'll see the using of it, if it works. But anyway, let's get to it. So on the first one, I had a much steeper angle, and that didn't work. Um, but the good thing about the steep angle was that to get the depth, the chisel didn't stick too far forward. But then, um, but it didn't cut as you saw, and so I changed to a much shallower angle. But then the chisel stuck so far forward that to get to the depth I needed to do the cutting. Well, I had to be had to put the base on, and then when I put the base on, the thickness meant that I had masses of the chisel unsupported by any sort of you know any sort of bedding, so that didn't work. So it was a quick and easy way to solve the problem. Yeah, didn't work. So back to the chisel.
this is going to take a while because um, I need six more of these. The first one I've just laid in the um, laid in the in the pressing tub. That's just the loose slats. Um, but I need a series more of them to build up the cheeses for the press. Um, so yeah, this is going to take some time. Yeah, so this crazy idea came out of being stuck at the house. Um, I plan, like I said, I plan to get down to the men's shed, throw a whole stack of these slats through the thicknesses down there, get it so that would take out all the hand planing, just, well, almost all the hand planes, just have to finish them and detail them with the hand planes instead of actually, you know, dress them. Anyway, since then, I actually have got down to the shed and I have got a whole stack of the wood through the thicknesses down there. So that's going to speed up the process. But still, that is a lot of joinery. Before I go, oh, I'll show you the other thing I've been working on. This is the first boards that I've cut of those tongue and groove off cuts for which we're running the competition at the moment for the beehive giveaway. Now, I've got a plan on how I'm going to join these all together nicely, and this size is for one of the, um, what they call an ideal super. It's only 146 millimeters deep instead of 250 odd. And this is the one I'm going to practice on. I sort of had to, had a bit of, put a bit of thinking in how I was going to do the dovetails, how I was going to join these pieces here. But I think I've got that worked out. So, um, Probably not the next video, but very shortly I'll be doing a video just on on this. But in the meantime, the hint that I'm going to give for um, the giveaway, which is, you know, you have to guess what sort of timber this is in order to get the beehive that's been made out of it. Um, it's not a softwood. And I know that's not much of a hint, but, you know, it's early days in the competition. We've got to start somewhere. So um, have fun with that, and I look forward to your guesses. Remember, the guesses have to be in the comments section on YouTube. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.